What's going on? I was just waiting for a lift back to the island. He won't be ready until 11, so I figured I'd give you a break. I, I thought it seemed it was like to hang out with someone in show business. Listen, I'm really sorry, but I'm just on my way out to meet a friend. Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You gotta keep your shit together, Jake. Tonight I am joined by Bragg. Hello. And one of the blind mice. I was meant to do this whole podcast with my eyes closed. <laughs> wow, they are bloodshot, aren't they? Yeah, because I've just been fucking staring into a light and watching TV. You say have to. I said just, man, I didn't say have to. Oh, I thought you said have to. Anyway. Well, we'll take it back. <laughs> anyway, how was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh? Um, oh. It kind of rolls into the one thing, because we all kind of did the same thing. Yeah, we all did the same thing. Yeah, so we'll just talk about that. Well, actually, we can briefly talk about our night at Locals as well. Yeah. Mine was shit. Mine was alright. I lost the final. I played like shit all night, and then was like, I need to focus and play properly. And then just got hand-trapped all fuck in the final. I was like, oh, this was completely irrelevant. So I was pretty pissed off. But I didn't have no pink chicken, so I'm okay. Yeah, chicken was good. I had to come home and watch Seinfeld. Yeah, I could have punished you for playing badly in our game but my brain decided no i too shall play badly (laughs) i made so many mistakes yeah um but the thing that i was referring to earlier is we had our uh ots championships at the wollongong store on sunday which we all competed at um how did we do brag i didn't make 12th place (sighs) ah also invites didn't pass in 12th place um which I, sh- I told you. Yeah, we told him all along. He was like, no, no, it's nah, fine. No, no, it's fine. Lewis not having one was surprising. I could swear he would have picked one up in the regionals before that YCS or during the event. Hmm. Or the... It's, yeah, it's whack because the qualifications at the end of 2019 were meant to roll over. I'm like, oh. I was just an impression we had more people qualified. There was I mean, at the start of 2020? Time. There's probably only like five regionals that got played. Yeah, there really wasn't that many. There would have been more, like the one that was meant to happen at Wollongong, literally the week after the lockdown came into effect. It's okay, Uh, I was meant to be in Japan anyway, so I would have missed it. Just like I am meant to be right now. (laughs) I'm meant to be in Tokyo right now. Let's keep bringing up those things to hurt a little more. (laughs) Yeah. Otherwise, uh, thanks to Ben for lending me the extra deck for my current deck, because... My uh, my extra deck's missing. Good times. Put it on a milk cart. Yeah. Someone uh, on the podcast will know where it is. Yeah. Um, and uh, for anyone else at home, I would like to know if you've ever just had cards go missing and you just go, oh, I'm cool with this, and they'll just turn up later. Let me know. Let me know. He has me to borrow from in the meantime. It's fine. Uh, so yeah, Cyber Cell Lich with the adventure package was the go because it's nice and simple and fun. And all my games were reasonably like I I because we we played first round yeah yes that that went how it was meant to go like there was nothing I could really have done any different so I look back at that went oh did my best I was yeah that was perfectly mediocre. Woo. <laughs> um, Ben. Yes, that that makes sense. Mine was fine. I went two two. I came 7th. Completely irrelevant day for me. Already had my invite. So, uh, like, going into round 4, I was X1, so 2-1. And I was like, if I pair anyone that doesn't have their invite, I'm just going to scoop so they get their invite. And then I paired Josh. (laughs) The only other person I could have possibly paid that already had his invite. So I was like, (laughs) I've already checked out of this tournament at this point. So I was just not not there to play. So I just was like, ah, whatever. Whatever happens, happens. I'm fairly sure at one point I had full combo and I was just like, ah, I pass. <laughs> I was like, yeah, what's the As point? You do. Get the game over and done with. Yeah. Um, I also had my invite, but I was like, nah, fuck it, I want the mat. It was petty as fuck. Yeah, I was. <laughs> I wanted the mat! You can't get the mat unless you win. Man could have scooped to multiple opponents and been like, you have your invite. Didn't do Someone it. had to get the invites and no one else had them. So, like, who am I to decide who gets the invites or not? Be good, get an invite. Look. And as I show. said, I wanted the mat. Also, the one round that you wanted me to scoop to was like the one girl that was playing at our tournament, and I don't want to be labelled a simp for no reason. <laughs> Fuck that shit. I get enough labels for nothing. I'd like to point out that I ahead of time set Jake up to just look like a massive asshole. 
Like, going into, like, the third round, I was like, oh, Jake, you're undefeated. Anyone you pair to that you scoop to will just get their invite. No one else has their invite that you could possibly pair. And Jake was like, no, you know what? I'm going to play the game. I want the mat. I was like, yeah. I did, I did want the mat, and I wanted more OTS because I wanted ulties. Um, In the end, you got no mat. I got a mat. You got a little mouse mat. It's a mat. It's more mat than you, you got. sell it to Jesse? No, not yet. But he's going to be getting it. Okay. Um, but yeah, um, so I came second in prizing, but third in points. Um, so I got second price, uh, second place prizing, which was the little um, fucking pedophile mouse pad. He which lost I'll the be... final. I did. My hand in game three against Prank Brave was horrendous. Like, even if I had a playable hand, he also, like, flashed his hand to me by accident a couple times, and I saw he had Ash and Nib, and I had no way to stop it. So I was like, e- no matter what a top deck here, it's not good. <laughs> uh, you were completely fucked. Yeah. So the only thing that would have even remotely helped me is if he didn't have the Solemn, because I had the read on the back row as to which one was um, Pandemonium, and I hit it. I went to hit it in the standby phase, and he solemned it. So I was like, oh, well. Well, my only on. window of opportunity is now gone because he didn't get to Griffin because I think I ogred the um, brave continue thingy when he yeah. went to do the search. I was like, okay, so he's not got Griffin. I had the cosmic in hand, ready to snipe the back row, and I picked the right one, but the solemn fucked me. And then he bowed out into Butler, and you were like, activate lightning storm, and he was like, well, oh yeah, he went to go put them in grave. Yeah. He was like, they can't be destroyed by card effect. And Jake yeah, was like, anything yeah, that could have been destroyed by card effect was in defense mode. So yeah, and like yeah, there's not much I could have done. Like he just opened. Yeah, it's much okay, better. Jake. You didn't need the invite anyway. Correct, but I wanted that. Um, but yeah, ended up doing X one for the day. Pulled ulti ecclesia. Hurrah! The win. Uh, Harry got a starlight too, didn't he? He got, he got ulti. Yeah. yeah. But he got a lot more packs than I did. So yeah, he opened like twenty packs. Yeah, and got one ulti. Very mediocre pulls from those packs, but uh, at the end of the day, you got a fusion Destiny out of it. So, from my experience, I just don't pull ulties, so yeah, <laughs> path of the course. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, you don't like these ulties anyway, they're shit. Yeah, they're all log shit. Um, moving on to the NR festival. Uh, so, um, I refuse to acknowledge this in existence. I'm at nearly at that point, and I really sh- like I just started building a deck when eating dinner and then I heard Seinfeld on the television and just <laughs> I'm not finishing this deck <laughs> I just don't watch Seinfeld it's great well once I got past 10,000 medals it stopped giving you gems it just gives you more legacy packs and that's the point where I was like okay there's no that's longer any um, benefit in this because when you first start you get so many free gems like I think I got like nearly 3k worth of gems for nothing uh, so I, I should, should probably play a little just to get enough for the battle pass given that it's going to come out like next week yeah 100% you don't even have to play that much like within the first say 2,000 medals you get a fuck ton what day is today? Uh, today is the 29th, oh, so you have a couple of days... I probably won't have a chance to hit Platinum by the end of the month. Oh, you haven't played at all. I haven't touched the game for the entire ah. month. Yeah, you've got a lot but of free gems to claim. It only takes me like a night to get to Platinum, so it's fine. I get Plat, plat 1, 5 hours, done. Have they fixed the pricing for Plat 1? Ah, uh, don't care. No, I don't think so. I just get there and be like, yeah, cool. Well, that's my, re- that's my reason and I'm sticking to it. Um... Also, speaking of it being the 29th today, the Blue Eyes, Kaiba, Yugi, Dark Magician, Dex, yes, Shadow Dex, that's the thing. Um, it's their birthday today, so the video came up a couple of days ago. Please go check it out. Yes. 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 Um, so, the next sort of thing to look forward to in Master Duel oh. is the announcement of new packs. Uh, so we have Ruler's Mask, uh, which seems to be sort of branded slash Despia support. Um, they've announced some of the ultras from that being... Will um, not include any of the structure deck cards. No, no, it won't. Um, so we have Despian, Kyotis, the Iris Lice, Light, Sword Soul, I don't know why I went to say Lice one. Uh, Starving Venomy Dragon, which is garbage. Uh, Anti-Human Intelligent Me Sayar, which we talked about in the podcast just a couple of weeks ago. I might actually play that in Master Duel, just to test it. I don't want to test it in real life sure uh and then dramaturge of despia as well um and the other pack is beyond the speed uh which is a synchro support pack Ka-chow. <laughs> yeah pretty much i am speed uh shooting majestic star dragon ultra crystal clear wing synchro dragon ultra baron de fleur which people have been chasing for no reason because sword soul's not out yet uh is also an ultra 
and Stellar Wing will fray it as an ultra. This jacket is really hot under the lights. Yeah, that's why I took my coat off. I like the jacket. I like being in normal temperature. Um, so yeah, both these packs are pretty much the the Legendary Jewels pack. Was Legendary Jewels? Yeah. And then also... Uh, uh, Half of Burst of Destiny. No, not Burst uh, of Destiny. Burst of, oh, Set, uh, Dawn, Dawn of Majesty. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, basically, it's Year not, old cards at this point. Yeah, it's... Um, it's not a year old, but... It's close it's enough. A, so it's two formats ago. Yeah. The only thing that I would note with these is that they make little to no impact if they don't change the ban list. Um, and being that Battle Pass and new packs are available on the 4th, it is seeming more and more likely, or at least I hope it is, that they do make some changes to the there format. There will be a ban list. However... These still make little to no impact because it's not the good Despia oh. and you're just getting Baron. You're not getting the deck that uses Baron. I feel like we're going to get more hype on the next one because yeah, Burst of Destiny like, was that big. So. It was a big shift for the current meta. So yeah. yeah, until we get those cards you may still have people such as Ben not caring at all. Yep. So are we always going to be nine months behind? I would hope not. Like, that's, that's what I feel like they could have at least tried to squeeze Burst of Destiny here to get six months. Like they, they should have put everything up until now. They had the opportunity. They should have done it. If they're going to do set releases every battle pass, they should have done everything they could now because it's going to be another three months until we get more stuff. Yeah. yeah. So like that's July, at which point we're now again a full, what, 11 months behind at that point. Yeah, because we'll have just gotten like the April, the August set. I suppose this has the problem that Hearthstone doesn't, in that it's got a physical card game that runs alongside the normal one. So, like, they can release whatever they want in Hearthstone; it won't yeah. matter. But they're, I feel like, if this is their gameplay moving forward, their mentality is probably that they don't want to have it be exactly like the current format in terms of the decks available, because then less and less people will play IRL. So, realistically as well, um, thinking of time frames and like the way that they want this game to be represented, if we're doing a format is a battle pass, this will be the world's qualifier. This will be what you have for your world's qualification tournaments. Oh, true, because they did say they were doing WCQ. Yes. Yeah. Okay. This will be the format for WCQ for them. If it falls within the same time frame as every other WCQ, which with the fact that they're only just restarting regionals IRL, yeah. it's a possibility it's going to be delayed until later to allow for more. Um, yeah, I... YCSs, I, said, I should say, not regionals. Um, but, yeah, it's the it's YCSs interesting. this weekend, yeah? Like, this weekend? Uh, Charlotte? Yeah. Or is it next week? I think it's next. Okay. Yeah, I thought it was later. Yeah, I think it's... I, th I want to say, yeah, 9th, 10th, okay. 11th of April. I remember April. that being surprisingly early, where I was like, oh, fuck, you've announced it three weeks out from the tournament. Well, I suppose, like, there's not going to be any threat of a ban list between now and then, so, like, the time frame is neither here nor there. I hate not having a ban list date. Like, even, oh, like, a May 1st or a June 1st would have been fine. Oh, the Despia... So um, not Despia. Gone. Branded structure comes out after that, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, thank fuck. Because that YCS would have been ruined. <laughs> I am yet to figure out what's going on for us. Distros, say the 9th, or the the week before, or 7th. So Distros, say the 7th, but the Konami website says the 14th, so... Maybe the 14th was like almost like a placeholder, assuming that it was going to be that late, and yeah. then they've ended up getting a little bit early. But I don't know what will then happen with legality, whether... It'll just not be legal until next week. I know normally they're not legal until that Konami release date. Yeah, but it's, like, it hasn't been a problem for so long now that we've actually had a set before it's meant to be released. Eternity Code for us? Yeah, that's probably the, like, for the most recent time that I can remember that we've actually had a set early. I think for that we got Eternity Code in Australia like well before everyone else. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. Yeah, we got it like North America a didn't long get it for time, like another month and a half. Yeah, ages. It was good. It was nice. It was a great times. Yeah. We got treated like gold for once. Thanks, Konami. Thanks. Uh... First and last time, because then they ignored us for all by one <laughs> remote duel event ever. Be, you could have you could have entered into the other ones. It's perfectly oh, fine. If you're American. Yeah, you, you could like have just... that famous American Bowden Tempting. There's plenty other famous Americans who <laughs> entered the tournament. 
I don't think they got oh, their Ra- famous oh, American Oh, yeah, Raphael Nevin, support. also American. Tons of people entered. <laughs> Tons of Americans. Not that Raphael needed to enter because Europe wasn't excluded from any events. Australia wasn't excluded from any events. They effectively were. Like, if you want to start our event at 7.30 of p.m., like, you're basically saying, you can play if you want, but, you know, you're going to be not at your peak. When round two starts at 2 a.m., be prepared. <laughs> that, ah... Uh... Oh, that part triggers part me so hard. An hour and a half wait between rounds one and two. Gave me flashbacks of like YCS Sydney 2017, where it's just like 2016. One, no, 2017, the one where we had ABC and shit. Yeah, 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 that one where it was just like real fucking late. That was super was late. Like, round two was going into like the four hour mark, and then like. They was... cut it short around, and it was still, like, 11 o'clock at night. Yeah, I remember, like, getting out of there, because, like, I was playing all of them at that what point, despite... What 2017. 2017. Uh, which was, like, um, ABC Metal Foes format. Yeah. yeah. I was... You were playing Mermel. I was playing Mermel. I was you playing, playing Zodia. <laughs> hey, I went X3. You did You did rel- relatively well, all things considered. I didn't even realise I made Day 2. <laughs> I was just like, what the fuck is day two? I remember getting out of that event, like, super late, like you said. And, like, it's bad enough around Olympic Park because heaps of places close, like, when you want to go out. Even the places that are meant to stay open late closed. were closed. There was nothing to eat. I was starving. I remember at that event, my final opponent, like, was running late. And they showed up after, like, I'd already called the judge and gotten a game win. And they are like, oh, do you still want to play? And I was like, no. <laughs> and I <was> just like... <laughs> Yeah. Goodbye. I'll take my win. Thank you. Um, but yeah, it's um, it's tricky. Like with sort of circling back, it is tricky trying to run a physical guard game and not have it conflict too much with your um, online um, magic thing attendance and vice seems versa. to be coming back. Hmm? Magic attendance seems to be coming back. Is it? There's modern players that show up on a Tuesday night. Yeah, they don't count. Remember, they weren't there for a while. I, I don't count them as people. Valid. <laughs> I count one. If they want to dunk person. on Yu-Gi-Oh players, I will fucking dunk on them. That, Stupid fucks. That one person knows who he is. He's a real G. Episode twenty. You, Not you, Seb. You scum. Um, episode twenty of the Cowboy for Game podcast was our reaction to that YCS. I'm very keen to go back. I would yeah. be keen to watch that as well. That'd be funny. I met this dude called Ben. He's a fuckwit. <laughs> I wasn't even involved in the um, podcast at that point, so it won't feature me. Meta, all. me that Meta pop quiz. When was the next episode we did after uh, episode twenty? When was episode twenty one? Who was running the podcast? Um, yeah, I think there was a there was a, a a supposed handoff at that moment. Oh, it was a paradigm shift. Uh, two months after. How many months are there between January and April? <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Somehow that doesn't surprise week, me. We're here! We're on week 13 of consecutive podcasts. <laughs> woo, woo, woo! Top 13, let's go. Um, so, um, another announcement from Power of the Elements. Uh, we have uh, support for a beloved deck that lots of people really like to play. Uh, crawlers. Look, this you're all happy, all seven of you, asking for Crawler support? Look, <laughs> I just want to flip summon! <laughs> <laughs> I've insulted someone. I'm so sorry. I'm not. Fuck yeah. Um, what were you about to say there? You said something that said something before that I was going to flip something? You going to say something at the card? Oh, it's just a generic extender, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Um, so it is uh, Crawler Soma, level 6 Earth Insect Effect Monster. Attack 2k, defense 25. You can only use a first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. You can target one face up on monster on the field. Special summon this card from your hand. If you do, change the targeted monster to face down defense position. But for the rest of this turn, monsters... Oh, that monster, the targeted monster, cannot change its battle position. During your main phase, you can reduce this card's level by 2 or 4, and if you do, special summon crawler monsters with different names whose total levels are equal to the level reduced from your hand, deck, or graveyard in defense mode. In either face up defense mode or face down defense mode. You can summon that crawler link monster. It's fucking insane. Mm. You don't want to summon the link, you want to summon the big boy. But the, you can't summon the big boy. I don't think we no. want to summon anything here. I think it's better off if we just make Verte. But you have to flip the target face down. Yeah. T- in face down or face up? Yeah, but yeah, but so you yeah, want... yeah, yeah. Oh, so you just yeah. summon a thing to flip face yeah. down. Summon this, reduce this level, summon some crawlers. Yeah, summon two crawlers. Make a verte. Yeah. Summon Dragoon. New, 
new Boss. alternate cybers package. Yeah. Make, Except make, you'd have make, to hard draw this level make six Dagda. intake. Yeah, action, then you'd Is have to Is it a one card access, access code talker? <laughs> I, I said it yeah. wrong. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, I'm going with it. Fuck yeah, it. Uh, Are you suddenly Russian? <laughs> Oh, well, not, not that. <laughs> <laughs> I will remove the bomb in <laughs> um, um, I'm that just saying. That was tasteless, if, I'm sorry. Um, I will maintain the track pants, though. I'm just seeing if I'm this wearing little. jeans that are also note. very hot. He's also squatting. <laughs> I am. Slap, slap stance. <laughs> I'm wearing my Adidas. <laughs> um, yeah, a bit quiet on the news cool. front of late. Yeah, um, it was. They dumped everything in that one week and the week before and now well do we go back to I thought some the huge earthy... news got announced this morning what excuse me I don't know I can't remember YouTubers so go to someone's YouTube channel they'll have clickbait <laughs> am I lying I mean for the most part no why isn't there any tuna crawler monsters because it's not a tuna deck oh, yeah. the man wants to make it Hulk <laughs> I swear they have it uh, they have a synchro don't they or is it a fusion Deus Ex Crawler is uh oh. what'd you say? They have a synchro fusion? Who? Crawlers. No. Why not? Just, just links. Just the links. But those can flip face down. You can't flip a link face down. Not with that attitude. What if they could flip their links face down? You should be able to flip links face down. The arrow markers don't matter. Exactly. It's bullshit. But I then guess... you have the problem of like if it's face down, yeah. it have to be face down. Then if you get mode. swords are revealing no, white. It's face down defense mode, but when it flips face up, it flips back to attack mode. Yeah, why didn't they just say the? Yeah, why didn't they just make it so the ruling was if it's face up, it has to be an attack. Yeah, and then it can attack in your opponent's battle face. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's like no other card announcements of any relevance. No, no, no. I swear there like... was some kind of big news that came out like today. Ben on big crack. Am I? Six. Cracks. I think the closest we get is like the new packs, and that was yesterday anyway. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a very quiet week. Lucky we have quality questions. Yes, while frantically looking for something else to talk about. Um, but yes, we do have some que questions from our Discord. Some um, questions. Some questions. You some gotta questions. go with it, Jake. If you're gonna say a word wrong, just fucking go with it. I say words wrong all the time. The old devs don't pick up on it. Um, but yeah, we do. I'm just not petty. Question. Like Jake. I went there to win. <laughs> Gambling Didn't. was immoral. <laughs> he was there to win. Um, yeah, so we do have some questions from our Discord. Um, if you aren't aware, we do have a Discord where we have a bunch of people, um, sections to ask us questions. Um, sometimes there's duels going on in there, and just a cool bunch of lads to have a chat to. Uh, so, link is in the description if you want to join, jump in, say hi. Um, our first question this week. Wait, wait, wait. I thought Lachlan was reading these questions. Oh, he is. If you just manifest his voice through my mouth, um, but with better English. Um, Tuesday's noob said, "Just heard the pod. Thanks for the answer. Shame it was what I was kind of feeling with it being like that." I, God, who the fuck wrote this? Sorry, Tuesday noob. Um, I don't think we actually answered his question. To be honest, well, listening back on, I think we just circled around it and gave some vague responses. Well, there is no choke point in the current format. Like, there's no one specific point where you're like, ah, yes, you need to hit this. Like, it's so... Well, also, I think when we answered it from both perspectives, I don't think we specifically answered anything. Well, the answer is no. Um... <laughs> no, I mean, the format super fucking linear. That's it. You think it's super linear? I... But there's just so many points where just remembering combos does come out knowing where the combos are is one thing and you know like there are some specific points where a deck is at its most vulnerable however most decks are playing anywhere between two to three extenders except for his deck He's playing one i've got map map goes map map goes map map goes map <laughs> well, i only play um, one extender hmm? i only play one extender man didn't I... play his i don't know cyber summon I can't remember what the Cyburst Extender is. It's pretty good though. It's a witch. Give it a look. Backup Secretary. Uh, there's Backup Secretary, and then there's one that um, banishes a Cyburst to summon itself, and then if it's sent to Graveyard, adds a Banished Cyburst back to hand. We've gone off topic. Yes, we have. Um, so, uh, to his new question um, If Master Duel were to start having t uh, in client weekend tournaments, say four to five spread across the weekend, making different time zones have easier access, which is more than Konami's ever thought about. Um, that was Swiss, say cap 128 plays in each uh, for seven, 
seven RDS, oh, seven rounds plus top eight, uh, with top eight winning some gems and invite to an event uh, for all the top eighters of the month for some sweet IRL swag. Would that be of interest to people? Say entry fee was 10,000 gems, and if you went seven two, you get back at least the gems you spent. I honestly thought they were already doing that. <laughs> I no. thought they had a little tab where you could go and enter into tournaments. You can uh, enter rooms. Yeah, you go into a room. You could then you could oh, organize like, a separate client. There are people doing that anyway. Like there's um, like I know the YouTubers do it all the time. They have like their own little tournament things. Um, there's a Facebook page that I've joined and actually never actually participated in one of their tournaments where they do that kind of stuff. Um, you should FTK them. Um, but yeah, it would be kind of cool if we saw that kind of stuff in future. But like we sort of alluded to earlier, they are going to be doing WCQ stuff. So whether that's just an open WCQ and they have everyone flooding the servers and effectively fucking them up, um, or whether they do and like some sort of um, structure to it where like you have to hit plat one or something like that, um, it should be KPIs. You have, should have to reach a certain level for X amount of time, and then you can compete. Is there, yeah. a, is there a world that we turn up with our Switches or our iPhones and stuff to locals and play a Master Jewel tournament? Why would we go to locals to do that? Like, literally, the benefit of it is, is you can play anywhere. So, you why have not to just do that go home? tournaments? What the, no. And Hearthstone as well. You have to go and sit across from the person. Just so you can insult them. That's fine, because that's like a proper tournament. Like, he's doing the pogo thing to get an invite to Worlds. Like, in a, in the world where we go to locals to do Master Duel. No. So are you not going to locals to get your invite to Worlds? Eh? You, are you not going to locals to get your invite to Worlds? No. So let's Why say... Why are you going to locals, then? Beep, beep. Let's say... Ever, <laughs> because, I mean... I'm playing the type. Obviously, ignoring side deck, best of one, everything... No, you is, do get a side deck. It's every card <laughs> Every card you own. <laughs> um, could they do a, hey, everyone rocks up, and it's instead of you have a deck, you have your phone, and you play against the opponent. It's so shit to play on your phone. Yeah. The client is toxic as fuck. Yeah. So there you go. I mean, Master Jewel's probably not good enough to make up for that tournament experience. Well, you could bring a laptop too. I'd imagine that at Worlds, they're probably just going to have two people sitting across on the table with laptops. Yeah. Headset on. Yeah, that would make more sense than, like, here, um, download it on your phone, <laughs> get through all of the startup shit that you have to do. <laughs> Gentlemen, prediction right now. Ooh. Whoever wins Worlds, what will their pet be? <sighs> hmm. I'm going to put a rogue one out there and say Cyber Dragon Ooh. Infinity. Monolith. I'll go for Pot of Greed. I should have said Rescue Rabbit. Pot of this greed. is another friend bet we have to do. Oh, actually, I, I, want, I do want to make a stipulation. Because I don't it... make bets. I am only correct. It... <laughs> Bruh. Disprove anyway, me. I'll think back in it and let you know. Man can't come up with anything off the top of his head. I can come no, up with I'm, I'm checking not... Secret Dash's price right now. Man's checking Secret Dash's price after we've already seen it at the price I said it would. No, was. and it sold out right away. I meant settles. I could have bought it for that price. We should have we should have agreed on this properly. They're selling for twenty five. I tell you, it's because people are fucking idiots. Yes, it was, <laughs> that was my that was my argument. No, people are fucking idiots. This card will be thirty five dollars. Ten bucks. I still say where the jury's out. No. August first. You want to leave it that long? Yes. Bruh. Anyway. Come on! It only goes down after that. You have nothing to lose. No, it only goes... I don't know. Either sideways or up, because it's a product that no one will now open from this point. How on. does a price go sideways? Well, it just stays <laughs> the same. Stay the same. Okay, but it just sounds like so it's going to move this slightly. Guy. Do you think graphs work? This guy knows nothing about selling If a graph's products. moving a long time, do you think when a graph stops going up or down, it just stops? No, I was thinking yeah. more like ladder-wise sideways. I was like, okay, then it's going nowhere. It falls off the ladder. Time no exist for Jake. Excuse me? Time no exist for Jake. Jake operates on the x-axis only, no y-axis. Yeah. No. If no one buy product, then uh, for no time. Men just, <laughs> men, speak, men just bought product tonight just for the sake of buying yeah. product. It's to indicate that it is a new week. We cannot yeah. have a new day until Jake has bought new product. Yes. 
I don't know one hundred percent did like hate what I bought. The Book of Moon looks nice. Anyway, um, back to answer your question, it would be interesting for them to actually do some sort of um, like non rarity specific event, um, whether that becomes a weekly thing or whether that's just like a specialty thing for regions. I um, very much like this to be a thing. I would probably play the game a lot more if this was a thing. Granted, I'd probably only enter those. I think I just stopped caring because I realised that the deck that I play just hits plat 1. And I don't have to worry about it not hitting plat 1. So I have no motivation to play the game at all. So you wouldn't play a deck that doesn't FTK in order to give yourself a challenge? No. <laughs> because I can just go OP God mode and just FTK everyone. Okay. Sure. I'm right. What Bragg's, the... I don't know, Bragg's doing something. <laughs> Clearly. You're doing something there. Uh, we also have a question from Meisterschwert. I think that's how you pronounce that. Um, been listening to uh, listening for a while, just joined the Discord. What do you guys think of Bird Up in the current format? No second recital makes it a bit harder, but from what I've been experiencing, you still output uh, Shriek, Rugal, UDF. I don't know what UDF is. I don't know what UDF is. Uh, and Revolt. Sounds like an STI. Oh, is it that Falcon thing that banishes? That could be what it is. Um, let us know what that is. Uh, and Revolt every turn. Uh, so I want to know what you guys think. I don't think... New topic, Draco feature. Ah, there you go. Okay. I don't think that with the second re recital and um, some more Glink gone, that Bird Up is still the best variant for that deck, because you're playing a lot of other cards that don't do enough compared to the other variant. Like, even just playing normal try yeah. it's very much like um what's the thing from fucking kung fu panda is it noodle soup like it's just it just it just panda. does the thing like you don't have to open certain things to open certain combos it just sort of does the thing it's all very simple and for a long time that was enough to win like granted they have an imperial order every game which was fucking aids yeah that but... was their deck master special <laughs> <laughs> i still find that so annoying but I don't know if all of that is really like beneficial. I think the deck can run fine without the bird stuff as like a thing. Like by all means run it, but like I think the try stuff's strong enough on its own. That end board that end board isn't up to the standard of other end boards now though, is it? No. Yeah, it's kinda of pretty fragile. It loses pretty hard to, like, an evenly. Like, the board breakers that everyone is playing to break these huge boards just rip, rip it to shreds, and that's that's the current kind of issue, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, because you've got such big boards like um, Prank Brave and stuff setting up, like, a lot of people are paying, playing those big cards that just go, zoom, gone. Yeah. And, like, turn skip cards as well. Like, if people are like, well, if you're going to scythe lock me or you're going to um, Papi's Feather Storm me, like, I might as well just get rid of all your board and we both start from scratch next turn. Honestly, that deck should just be main decking Harpy's Feather Storm. Oh, bird up, you mean? Yeah. Yeah? Like, if, if you're making the Solemn Judgment bird, just play the Storm. Yeah, so play Harpy's Fet Pet Phantasmal Dragon. <laughs> I wonder if you could just whack a... <gasps> Oh. Going? No. No, no. no. Get it started from day one. Uh, normal summon Harpy Lady so you can activate it. No, from don't normal summon it. Special summon Harpy Lady so you can activate it. Unexpected Dire Harpy Lady from deck. It just stays on the board. It's not really clogging anything as far as I'm aware. No. If only Sky Scout was a Harpy. You drop it on board? Yeah, where my boy Sky Scout. Yeah, where my Harpy's brother. You're good, Luke. You can you can do whatever you want. You can come in here and dance. You've shot up this podcast before. Yeah. And you're trying to sneak oh, by. I shot, it the <laughs> <laughs> I shot it from the safety. I was I was anonymous. The police could never find me. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, I don't know if it's really necessary for the bird stuff. 
like the benefit of the bird stuff before far outweighed any sort of problem you'd have with just having a bunch of level ones in hand. Like you could extend like a mofo so with that deck. Good. It was with the two rank with the extra copies of Resartle Starling. It was just like if you hand trapped it, it didn't fucking matter. If they could just keep throwing ones on board, they'd just make more. Yeah. Unexpected die. That'll be pretty funny. Because if you unexpected die for Harpy Lady, then slap down the storm from hand, your opponent can't hand trap you for the rest of the turn, correct? Correct. And so, if you're just playing um, like tactics or something, you just wait for them to hand trap you, chain that, monsters negated anyway, tactics away, anything else in their hand that matters for the turn, or even like just stop their next turn play, set up board. We'll force the opponent to ash the unexpected die. Yeah. And then you I chain see. Gamma. <laughs> Then you summon your harpy lady. We have a game plan, gentlemen. <laughs> you drive on. Two card yeah. combo, result full combo. Alright, so that is the only way, and even then you can do it in normal tribe better, I feel, to play bird up is bird to up. main deck harpy feather duster. I mean, no, just harpy lady with feather yeah, storm. Yeah, three unexpected die, one harpy lady, three feather storm. And might as well put the duster in. May as well put the duster so you can search it when you get lightning stormed. So your opponent's going to go lightning storm anyway to deal with your revolt. And then you're like, cool, we're going to chain the revolt, chain the storm. That's just straight game duster. at that point. Yeah. All right. We've solved, we've solved the format. We've solved the format. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so good. Um, yeah, that's the end of the questions uh, this week. But as I said, join our Discord. Feel free to ask us some more. Um, any other topics to discuss? We're due for banlist predictions soon. Should we get that just in case? I don't think we're due for banlist predictions. When was predictions. the banlist? It was February, it was, wasn't it? Was it? Only, yeah. it only went into effect February 1st. I don't think it's going to come until like May at earliest. Still too early. It's going to be like May, June. Yeah, it's, we don't I, even have an as like no sooner yeah. than date. Yeah, like, that's it's super vague. I'm more of a slow. So much. It like demotivates me so much to want to like be creative and like do stuff like that because I'm just like god knows when the fucking format's gonna end it's annoying because it hang- it's annoying from they didn't obviously think of the podcasters because this is gonna hang over us for months well other like <laughs> other content creators are okay uh, on Master Duel exploiting that for their content so in the past we've done a 3am podcast for the bandless reactions with Sebastian yes at the end of May, Sebastian will be moving in with myself and Bragg. Will we see a ban list before Seb lives with us? I think it's the catalyst. I think it's going to be a very first night thing. Actually, I would even go as far as to say it'll be a Friday night where Jake will be here. No. Because he will be drunky on the couchy, like drunk, uh, Jakey, like they, Dewey. They're going to do the 5 So many nights he just comes over here and he's passed yeah, he out. He shows up at my house. I have been, I'm in the middle of cleaning the next day and Jake's like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm just in the way you clean. Oh. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. He's trying to deny it. He just forgot. He's, he's just forgotten. All I wanted to do was burst in and play Dragon Maids. <laughs> and this man refused me, said his deck wasn't ready. The reason I couldn't borrow his prosp is because he needed to play Dragon Maids at any notice. Yes. Gave him no notice, still wasn't ready. The deck's built. It's over there. He denied me. Yeah. Because he's petty. I had to vacuum. <laughs> he did have to vacuum. And vacuum he did. He yeah. had to be parlor dragon maid. Exactly. Um, Speaking of parlor app- dragon missed- maid, I need to hang out my washing. <laughs> <laughs> no, you need to be laundry dragon maid. Yeah, exactly. It's a different dragon. And you do lots of dragon speak, Then he's going to go and be chamber dragon. Oh dear lord. Uh, oh. That's it. <laughs> 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 Thank you very much for watching. Uh, and we'll see you next time. 